Hey guys, just want to explain to you uh, the position assignment uh, as we think about um, tobacco, alcohol, and drugs and negative effects. And so this is one of my favorite assignments because I think it causes you to think a little bit about some things that maybe you've never thought about before. And I know we've spent some time in class talking about the importance of the friends that you choose, who you choose to hang out with, the influence they have on your life. And uh, this is just another example of that importance. And so if you look at the assignment as it's posted on the, the Google Classroom there, uh, marijuana possession charges, and I think the same would hold true for alcohol. I'm not positive, but I think that that is the case. It says possession of marijuana is against the law under most circumstances. While some states and cities have their own laws that allow certain quantities of the drug to be possessed for medical purposes, such possession may still be a crime under federal law. Okay, so marijuana possession is considered a drug crime, and possession may include more situations than you think. Uh, marijuana among your personal belongings, such as your pockets, bag, purse, or backpack, marijuana in your vehicle, uh, in your home, or even paraphernalia, such as pipes or seeds, in your home, car, or your belongings. Okay? So in each of these situations, the law does not care who the marijuana belongs to. So if someone brings marijuana into your house or leaves it in your car, even if it wasn't yours, you could still be charged with a drug crime. Okay? Also, multiple people can possess the same marijuana. Uh, so again, if you're in your car driving down the street, your buddy in the back seat pulls some out, the next thing you know, you get pulled over, he throws it in the floor, everybody's asked to get out of the car, whose is it? And everybody stands there, nobody says anything, or everybody points fingers at each other. The police officer has every right to say, okay, okay, I'm not getting anywhere here, it's going to be everybody's, and we're going to charge you all with possession. Okay, so if I'm hanging around, around with some friends that, I, that might put me in that situation, it could lead to... Uh, some charges placed against me. Same thing goes for your home, uh, just as with your car. So, so the assignment is just real simple. One page essay, are you in favor or against the information provided above? So in other words, the possession law, are you in favor of the law or are you against the law? Now, the typical reaction of a student is, is to be, I'm against the law, that's not fair. What if it's not mine and, and I didn't know that he had it and now I'm taking the fall for it. I understand all of that, but if you're going to argue against that, you need to do so in a manner that's more than just those emotions. And what I mean by that is, okay, I understand how you feel about that, but how do you change it? Put yourself in the position of the police officer. What is he supposed to do? I mean, he can't let you go. It's a federal crime. And so if he can't pinpoint whose it is, then what's he supposed to do? Uh, it's a tricky situation, but I just want you to understand that you know as you guys progress and you're about to turn 16 years old and you know you're letting other people in your vehicle and you know like I said the same thing could happen with alcohol. Somebody busts out uh, some alcohol in the back seat that you didn't know they had, they spill it. Uh, you had a tail light out. Next thing you know, you get pulled over, smell alcohol. Everybody get out of the car, and now everybody in the vehicle could be charged with possession. Uh, that is the law and you need to be aware of the law. And so what I want you to do is just write a one-page essay uh, thinking through that, arguing, am I, do I support that or am I against it? And if so, why? And if I'm against it, what would I change about it? Uh, so again, any questions, just shoot me an email and I will gladly help.